They had the cure and chose not to give it. Everyone knows about the Tuskegee syphilis study. Here's what they don't teach. It got worse after they found the cure. U.S. Public Health Service told 600 black men in Alabama they were getting free health care. They weren't. Doctors were studying untreated syphilis by deliberately withholding treatment. The men were never told they had syphilis. They were told they had bad blood. For 40 years, doctors watched them go blind, insane, and die. Here's the part that should make you sick. Penicillin became the standard cure for syphilis in 1947. The study started in 1932. Do the math. That's 25 more years. After 1947, doctors knew exactly how to cure these men. They chose to watch them suffer instead. They blocked the men from getting treatment elsewhere. They lied to local doctors to prevent anyone from helping them. Men died, infected their wives. Babies were born with congenital syphilis. Doctors documented it all like lab notes. The study didn't end until 1972 when a whistleblower leaked it to the press. 40 years, 25 of those years with a known cure in hand. That broke me because it proves medical racism isn't just neglect. It's deliberate torture disguised as science. Type evil if withholding the cure is murder.